So we're clearing through the outer ranges of the field, where we wish to come in to our solitude. And this isn't necessarily that we want to be alone, but we want to be within our own energy, free and clear from external influence. And so especially if we have energies rolling around in our minds, if we feel like we're trying to make a decision or figure things out, when that thing is not actually in front of us to resolve, with or through, kosha, kosha, just coming into the top of the heart and into the heart base through the feminine range here. It almost feels like where we have ingested this seed or this thing that comes from outside of us, rolling it around inside of our energy field, trying to make sense of it. And really what we need to do is release the part that is not ours to make sense of. We extract what we need to know and also recognize and understand what belongs to something which is external to us. So often we take this entire range of energy and we think we have to have the solution. And yet, as with most everything in life, if it involves something external, it involves another energy, it involves whether it be a group or another organization or what have you, part of the responsibility lies with that other. So we understand what is truly ours to know and have to learn how to set the rest of this issue back outside of us, giving it back, releasing and returning what is not ours. Good. Oh, there's a release deep within the tissues with this. This feels really good. Out of the top of the shoulders, out of the base of the brain. The savior complex, which has felt like we have to bear the entire weight of making the decision, making the choice, figuring it out, as well as the persecution that comes from making that choice. And where we feel persecuted is actually where we have not allowed the other half of this to to properly own their side of this. Good. Good releases out of the top of the head here. Something with these thumbs too. It's like where are we pulling on these strings? Trying to pull strings. Alright, let's drop into this left, still at this rib here, where we feel insecure or unsafe and where we feel that controlling this outer circumstance will bring a sense of safety. Actually, what it does is bring more of a sense of distortion and destruction to us. More confusion. More miscommunication than we're really the harder we try, the worse it becomes. Chakoya. Good. Okay, this father range here. Let's come into the very base of the spine with this. And into the feminine. Chakoya. And let's allow for the return of the masculine here. Koshai. This consciousness. Understanding 
well this is the other piece of it then through the masculine range where we do not own what is our responsibility to see and work through within our own selves so let's bring your source light here into this left lower abdominal range the lower back it's like we're picking up the wrong things to work with here and there is a very distinct feeling that what is mine i almost can't quite grab into it there's almost like a repelling here and also a feeling of because when i do fully work through what is mine inside of myself there is such a relief and a release and it does feel so amazing it's almost like that is the the lower range here that almost gets repelled out or we get repelled out from because it actually does feel so nurturing to be here to feel the truths allowing for these shifts through the abdominal ranges through the gut Oof. yeah this clarifying and oh how this helps with these depressive ranges here been so hard to feel in to our own truth it's taken a lot to get here every time we get pulled back out it's almost as if we keep getting dipped back in to the distortion coming back in clarifying washing this in the fields deep mistrust of our own knowing through the crown through this heart range this agitation in the heart as we continue to dive deeper in to the mysteries that the body holds in to these feelings and sensations and emotions that we may have deemed to be negative we come in here to examine and find what is truly beneath them the anger may have been about being misunderstood and yet there are layers beneath this where you were not allowed to have your anger before where this anger frightened others your parents your early caregivers recognizing that it is okay to have emotions it is okay to express our confusion at a situation that is in front of us what is beneath and behind this wall within us the arc of our knowing the miscommunication and the misinterpretation of our being feeling misunderstood and having not experienced the foundation the platform to be properly understood unfolded unveiled opened up the love hidden within only ever wanting to express rooted in its demise through the beingness through the body's fear of expressing and receiving emotion the body sphere of expressing and receiving communication the body's conditioned fear responses to truth to what is good feeling this clearing through the sacral the authentic ranges of your soul aligning and receiving your source light through your being recovering this connection 
where you were unable to connect to your sacred tone, feeling this start to activate into the base of the heart. This waterfall overflowing this holy grail, the return of your knowledge of self, of truth, reactivating what an incredible journey it has been to return here, returning deep within, swimming within the waters of your emotions, this life force. <sighs> As it is so, 